Shalom Israel, Shalom. Kalala Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakadash. The honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well, who taught me his truth in his entirety, according to the Bible. Peace and salutations to the Akimo, they're pushing his truth all over the earth. So, um, quick, quick couple precepts, man. I was watching some, uh, CNN alerts. And, uh, yeah, the U.S. choppers released flares over Baghdad protesters. And, uh, yeah, the, the U.S. have uh, deployed more, more troops. to Baghdad in response to uh, uh, their, their embassy being stormed. Let's peep it. We begin with breaking news out of Iraq. The Trump administration now sending additional forces to Baghdad as protesters storm the U.S. embassy there. Security teams firing off tear gas as the mob angry over recent U.S. airstrikes continues to set multiple fires and shout anti-American chants. The violence escalating for hours now, at one point the group attempting to smash in a door. Inside. So yeah, angry mob, man, right? Angry mob. Attempting to smash a U.S. Embassy door, right? Let's go to uh, Jeremiah 51. Jeremiah 51, verse 7. Babylon hath been a golden cup in the Lord's hand, right? Everyone, wanted, everyone Babylon the Great, America the Great, right? Leader of the free world. A golden cup in the Lord's hand. Everyone, everybody, everybody has wanted to go to America, do the American thing, American dream, America way, America philosophy, you know, way of life, how they do things. It's been a golden cup, right? That made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. So yeah, they're they're they've made the whole world drunken with their philosophies, their ways, right? How they do things, right? Worshiping their idols, their deities, right? Sacrificing to their, their to their to their pagan uh, uh, gods, right? The whole world's drunk with it, man. Therefore, the nations are mad, man. You know what I mean? So you you can see in this clip here that they they vex, man. One that one they're mad that for, for the, the they're protesting the airstrike, right? So they're mad about that, but um. Yeah, the nations have drunk and over wine, therefore the nations are mad, man. They're vexed, they're cheesed off, man. You know what I mean? But um, deploying more troops, deploying, deploying more troops to the to the to the Middle East is it's it's, it's all a part of a uh, prophecy, man. Let's get that Joel Joel chapter three. Joel chapter three. Verse 2, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. Right? The valley of Jeho Jehoshaphat's in the Persian Gulf, man. The Middle East. Right? 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 And this is this is a pre this is a prerequisite to World War III, man. So I will gather all, I will I will also gather all nations, all nations, man, and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. Which is in the Persian Gulf, the Middle East, man, and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage. Right? He's gonna judge. He's gonna judge. He's gonna judge all them nations down there, man, with 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 fire and brimstone, man. Right? Will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. Right? Right. So that's the start. That's the setup. That's the setup. You know, the more and more uh, 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 military military get deployed to the Middle East. Right, it's more and more that this it's a setup for this Joel chapter three verse two being fulfilled, man. You know what I mean? Right, right. We see it happening daily, man. You know these other nations getting vexed. Let's go to Habakkuk chapter two. Habakkuk chapter two, verse one. 
Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 7. Shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee, and awake that shall vex thee? Right, so we're seeing, we're seeing, we're seeing other nations rise up and awake, right? To 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 resist, to fight, to inflict harm on, on, on Babylon the Great, America the Great, spiritual Egypt, spiritual Babylon, right? And thou shalt be for booties unto them, because thou hast spoiled many nations. All the remnant of the people shall spoil thee. Right. So spoil in the ancient times when um you know, even today, you know, the spoils of war. So you invade another country, you know, you 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 instill your ways, your military might, your way of doing things, you take over that country, now it's now your 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 region, your jurisdiction. The spoils is basically the spoils of war is, you know, they're they're their money, their silver, their gold, their currency, their women, what are their natural resources? In modern days now, it's the resources, right? Primarily the resources, right? So the spoils of war is the resources of whoever you've invaded and conquered, right? So because thou hast spoiled many nations, all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee. So, you know, America the Great, Babylon the Great has gone around spoiling other nations forever, man, right? Their military might's been un un unmatchable, right? So because thou hast spoiled many nations, all the remnant of the peoples shall spoil thee because of men's blood and for the violence of the land, of the city, and of all that dwell therein, right? So all the violence, all the bloodshed, everything, because of what you've done to other nations, it's going to turn around and come back on you, right? America the Great, Babylon the Great, right? These are all prophecies, man. So what we see going on right there, that was crazy right there, man. Those guys were battle ramming, <laughs> they were battle ramming the door, man, of an embassy, B. You know what I mean? <laughs> right? But the Mosai, the Mosai, throughout scriptures, man, the Mosai uses, uses uh, people as his sword, beasts as his sword, right? Tempests, right? Natural disasters, right? Earthquakes, fire, right? Those are all the Mosai, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai sword, man. Didn't uh, King David pray? Psalms uh, 17, Psalm 17, verse 13, deliver me from the wicked, thy sword, right? The Mosai uses people as a sword, man. In this instant, King David's praying to the Mosai Yahweh to be delivered from the wicked, his sword. Psalm 17, verse 13. Let's get that real quick. Psalm 17, verse 13. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him. Right? He's praying to the Mosai Yahweh by Shem Yahushai to disappoint his, his, his adversary, those that are trying to, trying to uh, take out King David, right? Arise, O Lord, disappoint him. Cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Right? Mosai uses people, animals, natural disasters. It's a sword, man. Right? All throughout the scriptures, you see examples of that, man. Right? Right? Let's get uh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 50. This is all the Mosai's plan, man. You know, the Mosai's plan. Whatever's going on, this Mosai's moving, man. Left side, right side, wherever it may be, man. It's the Mosai, the Mosai, it's the Mosai's will that all these things happen, man. Right? Jeremiah 50. It's also a prophecy, man. Prophecy has to fulfill, man. Jeremiah 50, verse. Jeremiah 50 verse Jeremiah 50 verse 41 Behold, a people shall come from the north and a great nation and many kings shall be raised up from the coast of the earth Right, so we know that other nations are going to rise up against the US, America the Great, Babylon the Great Right, primarily from the north Right, Russia and his allies Right, Russia and Iran Iraq, China Korea, right? Behold, a people, sh a people shall come from the north, and a great nation, and many kings shall be raised up from the coast of the earth. They shall hold the bow and the lance, right? That's military weaponry, man. Military might. They shall hold the bow and the lance. They are cruel and will not show mercy. Their voice shall roar like the sea, and they shall ride upon horses. Everyone put in array, right? They're gonna ride upon uh, military might, man. Whether it be tanks, whether it be aircraft, right? And put in array, 
like a man to the battle against thee, O daughter of Babylon. Right. So the, 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 this great this great nation, people from the north, Russia, right, they're gonna rise up with his allies, right, and riot against America, right. And these are all pre, these are all these are all uh, 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 pre beginnings, right? Cause we see these things taking place in the Middle East. These are all pre beginnings, right? But the ultimate, the ultimate, the ultimate uh, result is going to be ICBMs on America the Great, Babylon the Great, right? Right? Doesn't Revelation eighteen say in one hour? Let's get that man. The only thing that can cause destruction in one hour is ICBMs, man. Let's get Revelation chapter 18. It's all prophecy, man. Edify the flock, man. Revelation chapter 18, verse... Revelation chapter 18, verse, uh, oh, there's all kind of meat in this book, man, in this chapter. Revelation chapter 18, verse 8, therefore shall all her plague, therefore shall her plagues come in one day. Right, America the Great's plagues shall come in one day, man. Right, death and mourning, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is Yahweh by Shem Shai who judges her. Right, them ICBMs, man. Right, verse nine, and the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her, right, who've been her allies, you know, have committed crimes with her, benefited from 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 her, from her shady practices, right, shall bewail her and lament for her. When they shall see the smoke of her burning, right? So there's going to be witnesses, man. Right? And they're going to witness it and bewail the destruction, man. You know what I mean? Verse 10. Standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. Right? One hour, man. You know what I mean? The only thing that can do that is ICBM, man. One hour, coast to coast, lake of fire, man, ICBMs, done, finish, wrap. Verse 11, and the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, right? Those that did business with her, Babylon the Great. They're going to weep and mourn, man, because that's the end of their money train, man, right? For no man buyeth their merchandise anymore, right? Right, and these, this is, the, it's a setup, man, right? It's a setup, man. Musa Yahweh Shem Shai, setting it up, man. All right, and we see it ramping up, man. You know what I mean? Let's close up with this one. Musa said it's going to be a speedy riddance. Speedy riddance. Zephaniah 1. Zephaniah 1, verse 18. Speedy riddance. The only thing we could do that is ICBMs, man. Zephaniah 1, verse 18. Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver him in the day of Yahweh's wrath. But the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. Right? The whole land shall be devoured, man. Lake of fire, man. For he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. Right? Speedy riddance, man. You know what I mean? Lake of fire, man. But yeah, I just wanted to drop a couple of precepts, man, because you see them uproars, them uproars going on down there, man, and and then dispatching their uh their troops down there, more troops down there, man. You know, Joel chapter three verse two came to my mind. You know, Valley of Josephat, man, Valley of Decision. I pray you're edified. Call Allah Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rakakadash. Double honors once again to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth in its entirety. Peace and salutations to the out there pushing this truth all over the earth. <laughs> Stay focused, stay in this truth, stay prayed up, man. We're at the end of this thing, man. You know what I mean? Kwam Yashar Allah, Abad Babal.